Seven members of a gang which smuggled phones and drugs into Lincoln Prison have been sentenced to a total of almost nine years in jail. The convictions over the past two months were the result of a police investigation after officers received reports from the prison of an increase in contraband being thrown over the walls. Jake Zuckerman is outside the jail in Lincoln now. So, Jake, how long did this investigation take? Well, it seems that this investigation by the uh, prison service and Lincolnshire Police took six months of hard work. It started when the prison noticed an increase in the number of packages being thrown over the wall. These contained drugs like cocaine, ecstasy, cannabis, and also contraband mobile phones. Now, after many long hours of covert police work and intelligence gathering, officers finally uh, identified the gang behind this. In total, seven individuals from Lincoln, Grantham, Gainsborough, and one from Wolverhampton have all been jailed, receiving sentences of between two months and two years for their parts in this plot. Now, that's been welcomed by Lincolnshire Police. We're very pleased with the outcome. It sends a clear message that this sort of behaviour is not acceptable. Um, we will actively target these offenders. Um, we've got to stop the contraband getting into the prisons because it's causing a great risk to prison officers and other prisoners um, due to the increased violence. So, yeah, we're very happy with the result. Now, on their last visit to Lincoln Prison in 2017, inspectors said that, like other local prisons, Lincoln faced increased levels of violence, and that was often related to the prevalence of drugs and the difficulty of managing this problem with reduced staff numbers. However, they did also praise the prison's approach to dealing with drugs, and in particular, their partnership with local police. So today's news is being hailed by the police as a positive result of that cooperation, and shows also that police may be having some success in combating what is, by all accounts, a widespread problem across the prison system as a whole. Hey Jake, thank you. Some red arrows. Let you know. An organised plot to bring banned items into Lincoln Prison has been uncovered after a six-month operation by Lincolnshire Police and the Prison Service. Officers say that they were concerned about the number of packages being thrown over the walls of the jail. Recent reports have criticised the jail for the number of phones and drugs on the premises, with more than 40% of prisoners saying it was easy or very easy to get hold of illegal drugs. Jake Zuckerman has this report. A group. The easy availability of drugs has long been a problem in many of the UK's prisons, as this BBC report filmed at Wandsworth Prison in London in 2016 showed. It's easy to get. Do you want cannabis? I can get you some store. Can you get me cannabis yeah. right now? Yeah. Today, Lincolnshire Police claimed a success in their fight to keep contraband out of Lincoln Prison. Investigations began when prison officers reported an increase in the number of packages like these that had been thrown over the walls. These packages contained mobile phones, cocaine, ecstasy, um, cannabis, mamba and spice. Um, these packages was leading to an increase in violence, putting prisoners and prison officers at risk. There's also the welfare aspect to the prisoners' um, health and safety. Working closely with the prison service, Police used covert techniques and intelligence gathering to identify those responsible. Seven individuals from Lincoln, Gainsborough, Grantham and Wolverhampton were each jailed for between two months and two years for their part in the plot. In a statement, Prisons Minister Rory Stewart said, The Secretary of State and I have put the fight against criminal gangs at the heart of our work in the Ministry of Justice. We are clear that decent, drug-free prisons are vital to the effective rehabilitation of offenders and protection of the public. It's vitally important that we work closely with the police to, you know, to ident identify the routes that this, this, uh, these drugs and other things are coming into prison, and we stop it. Um, but I think just to put them sentences into context, I, I believe the maximum sentence you can receive for smuggling illicit items into prison is 10 years. That's that's one sentence. In their last report in 2017, inspectors said Lincoln faced increased levels of violence, often related to the prevalence of drugs and the difficulty of managing the problem with reduced staff numbers. 42% of prisoners said it was very easy or easy to get hold of drugs in prison and 10% of prisoners said they'd developed a problem with drugs whilst they were in prison. But the report did praise the prison's approach to dealing with drugs, and in particular their work in partnership with local police.
Well, today's news is being hailed as a positive example of cooperation between the prison service and the police. And it shows that Lincolnshire Police is having some success in combating what is by many accounts a widespread problem across the UK's prison system. Jake Zuckerman, BBC Look North, Lincoln. Four people.